In a few months, every single person in the United States will receive this. Asking very basic uh, demographic information, primarily about your household. Mary Jo Hoeksema with the Census Project Coalition says this quick questionnaire is part of the nation's official headcount, required by the Constitution every 10 years. And she says it holds a lot of weight. The census is about money and power. The data collected by the census determines how many seats each state gets in Congress and how much money. Congress sets aside $1.5 trillion every decade for federal programs like Medicaid and infrastructure. That money is divvied up among the states based on population. Texas has a higher percentage of Hispanics than other states and a higher percentage of non-citizens, and they tend not to participate in the census. George Washington University professor Andrew Reamer says recent research shows 1% of Texans were left out of the last census, costing the state billions of federal dollars. We need them counted so that we get the federal dollars that we deserve. Texas Democratic Congressman Lloyd Doggett says the Trump administration's effort to add a citizenship question to this year's census has frightened immigrant families, even though the question was rejected by the U.S. Supreme Court. All of that interplays to give people reason not to open their door if they've ever had anybody in their family who's not properly documented. Doggett says everyone, documented or not, needs to be counted. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke.